Visit by Angel Gabriel. Welcome beloved. Kindly subscribe to this channel so you may learn how to prepare for rapture. Also support this ministry financially by clicking the link in description button. Am sent to hospital to pray for the sick, but the fare itself is an issue. Any well-wisher can really help with something. Recently, my sister Rachel and I have been facing a lot of persecutions, trials and accusations. They have been so terrible that one can just want to give up. So I was just laying on my bed thinking about everything and feeling depressed. Indeed the Bible tells us that all who want to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. But as a human, I was feeling bad and discouraged. I was facing the wall and then I felt a hand touch me. I was not startled but instead felt at peace. The hand was soft and gentle. When I turned, I saw a very familiar face shining with glory. It was the angel Gabriel. This was the third time the angel Gabriel was visiting me. He was so glorious and majestic and looked like a very wealthy prince. No wonder people in the Bible were tempted to bow down to angels when they saw them. The material of his clothes and sandals were not of this world. It was like they were made of the finest material and precious stones, he was transparent and radiant. He said, What troubles you child of the Most High? I knew he knew what was bothering me. I did not answer him as he did not pause after the question but continued talking. He said, I have a message for you and for thee of the body of Christ from the Father above. Quote. Suddenly, handcuffs appeared in his hand and he put them on himself, locked them and threw away the key. I was shocked at what he was doing. He said to me, what I have done is what the children of God are doing to themselves. When the enemy attacks, they bind themselves with sadness, depression and crying like I have bound myself. They have thrown away the key. The key is prayer. Worry about nothing but instead, pray about everything. Quote. Never forget that the devil never stops working. Be sober, be vigilant, your enemy the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom to devour. The moment that someone takes to get depressed about something instead of praying, know that at that same time, the devil will be planning more schemes against you. Hence when he attacks, one will not be equipped to fight back. Quote. The mighty power of prayer. He said, do you not know that at your request, the Lord dispatches thousands of angels to fight for you. All you have to do is pray. When you pray, a lot of things happen in the spiritual realm. At that moment if you are calling fire on a demon, that fire really does descend on it and burns it terribly. If you pray for the demon's limbs to be broken or for it to be blinded, it happens right there and then. As you pray, it happens. That is why the devil hates it when God's children pray. James 5.16 tells us that, the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The angel said, prayer is a very powerful weapon which many Christians have lost faith in. Ephesians 6.10-18 They have laid down that weapon and prefer to help themselves. You should know that not one time does the Lord ignore the prayer of his true servants. Every one of them reaches his throne. What people lack is faith and patience. The Bible tells you his children that the just shall live by faith. James 1. 6-8 says, Let him ask in faith, not doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. Let not that man expect to receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Quote. Angel Gabriel said, Many people think the Lord does not want to answer their prayers. Actually, the Lord does not like it when people don't ask. He wants you to totally depend on him like a little child depends on a parent. Ask for anything, from the littlest things to things you even think are impossible. For with God, nothing is impossible. The Father waits all day to hear people asking Him for things but He only hears a few. They instead go to witch doctors and diviners to seek solutions. Many people think there is a limit to things they can ask for. He is your Father, ask for anything. If you are scared, ask for peace. If you are hungry, ask for food. If you feel like you will not make it to heaven. Ask him to help you make it. Ask for salvation. Feel free, he is your father. He delights in your peace. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast your burdens on him for he cares for you. He said, Let them ask, knowing that he is on the throne and rules over heaven and earth, so nothing is impossible with him. The devil likes it when people worry. He takes pleasure when people sit all day and worry. Why worry as if you are alone? Did not the Lord promise to be with you always until the end of the age? Tell this to the world. Jesus Christ does not want his children to worry even one bit.
He wants them to have peace of mind, joy and happiness. Quote. John 14.27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. The angel said, Rise and destroy the lies of the devil. There are many people living under the oppression of the devil. Satan has lied to many people that the Lord likes it when they are worried. Many people are being oppressed by demons. This is especially happening to new converts. The devil is whispering so many lies in their minds. He is also putting so many doubts about the Lord in their minds. Tell them to pray and ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The journey of God's children would be so much better if only they prayed. Then they would know the schemes of the devil and not be caught unaware. Pray in the morning, noon and night, never stop praying. This is the message I had from the Lord our God, your Heavenly Father. I leave you with peace and joy of the Holy Spirit from the Father. He smiled a very beautiful smile and then vanished just like that. It did not scare me because I have learned that the spiritual beings are different from the physical beings. These are words of love from our eternal loving Father in heaven. Be encouraged and be at peace for he loves us so much.